Ever wonder what keeps some organizations around for decades to come? Truth be told, it's the generosity of donors that keeps them successful. And because of that, it's so important that your organization engages with your donors on a regular basis. So in this video, I'll show you how to maximize donor engagement so that you can help your organization retain donors and increase the impact of remission. Ready to get started? I'm Joseph with Antidote, and let's get into it. All right, so what is donor engagement? Donor engagement simply refers to the strategy and tactics of engaging your donors for the purpose of donor retention and ultimately for the purpose of building relationships. You can think of it like this. So I've recently become a plant enthusiast and I have all sorts of house plants that I really want to keep alive. And in order for these plants to grow and thrive, I need to take care of them by watering them and giving them enough sunlight. So similar to plants, donors must be given care and attention, which results in cultivating strong and healthy relationships. If you never or rarely engage, your organization will struggle to retain donors and increase giving. So now that we have a firm grasp of the importance of donor engagement, let's break down the five ways you can engage your donors. First up is new donor nurturing. So with new donors, the stakes are high. According to the Fundraising Effectiveness Project Report in 2017, donor retention averaged only 44.7%. And in donor retention, the greatest defense is a good offense. And a great time to play donor retention offense is with new donor nurturing. This can be as complex or as simple as you like. However, the most important part of new donor nurturing is simply planning the work and working the plan. To get started with this, you can divide your donor nurturing strategy in three steps. First time donation, second time donation, and third time donation. So when a donor makes their first time donation, thank the donor and send them a PDF or a webpage that details your nonprofit's goals for the year and how the donor plays a valuable part in accomplishing that mission. For the second, thank them for the generosity, let them know of the impact their donation empowers, and send them a physical gift like a branded tote bag, mug, hat, or some other small branded gift. And this has two benefits. One, this makes the donor feel appreciated in a tangible way. And two, your organization's logo on these small gifts increases awareness of your organization, which can lead others to support your cause. And finally, for third time donations, thank the donor once again, and let them know that they are an exclusive supporter group that will receive early communications and special announcements as they are a vital part of the mission. This simple three-step strategy will encourage new donors to grow in commitment and relationship with the organization. While there are certainly details to define within the strategy, like donation amounts, recurring or non-recurring, or what physical gift to give, this is a simple way to engage and nurture new donors within your organization. Next, a great way to engage your donors and deepen the donor relationship is to send regular impact communications. So what are impact communications? They are physical or digital communications that clearly associate donor giving to impact and success. Put simply, it's showing the impact of the donor's gifts with charts and graphs. With impact communications, your donors will be more likely to increase giving, share the news with others in the network, and continue their financial support. Whether monthly or quarterly, impact communications should be frequent. You can create a simple strategy for this by focusing on two audiences, public audience and donors and strategic partners. With your public audience, engage them weekly with social media posts and monthly through email. And with your donors and strategic partners, engage them monthly through email, quarterly through mailed report, and yearly through a digital and mailed annual report. There's lots of other great ways to communicate impact. Leave a comment down below with a few of your favorites. Also, for more information on how to craft the best emails and annual reports, check out our blog. The link is in the description. There's tons of resources there to bring your communication to the next level. All right, now let's talk about one of the most important ways to engage with the donor base. Even though we've already mentioned it before, it can't be stated enough. Showing gratitude is paramount when speaking to donors. Think about this. They could have given the support to countless others, but they chose to support your organization and mission. And that should never be taken for granted. 
Even though you may add a thank you section to other donor communications, standalone thank yous will highlight just how much you appreciate them. Now here's some ideas on how you can express it. You can send a monthly postcard or letter to donors, or depending on the gift size, you can send a digital gift card and a message as a thank you. Also, don't worry about including a lot of copy, charts, or requests in them. Simply and genuinely tell your donors you see them, you are grateful for them, and that you could not have done this without them. Here's a question. Are you challenging your donors? A great way to have them take another step in their donations is to challenge them with a stretch goal. Stretch goals can create a deeper sense of partnership with donors while increasing giving. And some examples of stretch goals for fundraising include, one, bring a friend. Encourage your donors to reach out and have a friend make a first time donation. Two, become a recurring donor. You can encourage one-time donors to become recurring ones. Three, small dollar campaigns. And with this, you can ask donors to make an additional small dollar weekly or monthly contribution. Four, double the donation. Post a challenge to double their recurring donation for a period of time, whether it's for six months or a year. And lastly, matching. Encourage donors to make a large one-time gift with a matching incentive. Of course, these programs should be communicated with care and excellence. Tying these goals to specific short to midterm initiatives should be considered as you will be able to communicate the wins after it ends. Finally, a great way to engage and grow in relationships with the donors is in-person events. Whether a large gala or small intimate gathering, in-person events can create connections that last a lifetime. Examples of in-person donor events include, one, a VIP or top supporter event. At these events, you can honor your VIP and top supporters, which can encourage these top supporters towards even greater generosity. Two, an advocate event. Here, you can celebrate donors who give their time through volunteering and advocating for your organization. And lastly, a new donor event. You can create a fun event for new donors in the past quarter or year and thank them for choosing to support your organization. Events are a huge opportunity for your donors to put a face to the organization and mission they love. Regardless of the size of your donor base or budget, donor events can be an easy way to continue building relationships as you grow your donor base. Well, those are the five ways you can engage and retain donors. And we hope these five tips will help you build relationships with your donors and keep them engaged with your organization. Thanks for watching. If you got something from this video or if you plan to implement any of these tips in your fundraising strategy, I would love to hear all about it in the comment section below. As always, be sure to leave a like as that helps the channel and subscribe and click the notification bell for more videos like these. Once again, my name is Joseph and we'll see you in the next one.